I think when I went in on board first, I was a little nervous because you know we won love down and I really wanted to win this match. I was a little nervous, but uh, after the second game, Deepika really told me to like enjoy myself, and I think I forgot to enjoy myself in the first two games. But in the next few games, I got in and I and I loosened up, and that really helped me. I was I was obviously nervous throughout, but I think I kept myself together and I managed to pull off a win here. It was really frustrating. Like I was nine to up in the second, and that game was totally mine. And that would have probably ended the match sooner, or maybe not. But like I still had it in the platter, like you said. But I think that that that's sport after all. Everyone's fighting and they're here to put their life on the line to win for their country. And I think uh, I have to just go out there. I mean, you got to expect the best from the other person as well. So I'm really glad I was able to pull off. Well, they they are the ones who helped me. Uh, I mean, I've looked up to them and grown up, and they've been my right role models while playing sports. So to have them and be on the same team as them was just really, really a big thing. And uh, they obviously know better than anybody else over here how to handle these players because they've been in this situation multiple times. So if they're not giving me advice, then I don't think who and there's anyone better to. So. Well, we're still gonna all put our life on the line. I think uh, all of us. I tried really hard, but it was hard. And Hong Kong's not an easy team to beat, and Annie was really good, and Joey Chan was also really good, and even the girl that I played was really, really good. But I mean, yeah, we just got to regroup and come back tomorrow with with equal amount of fire to kind of push through. Malaysia is obviously the hardest team, but it's not impossible, like Deepika said. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to going to goal. Well, everybody has a different style, but at the end of the day, everyone wants to be ahead of. The other person while attacking and putting them under pressure. I think that's what the aim of this, of, of this sport is to kind of win points. You got to put the other person under pressure, whether it's with your slow, um, calm defensive squash or whether it's with your attacking squash. Whatever it is, you got to put the other person under pressure. Uh, so yeah, I guess whatever works for everybody is what everybody needs to do. I don't think everybody should follow a certain pattern. But for me, it's always been to kind of step in, step ahead of the opponent and attack and hit the ball as hard as I can. And I think that really helps me. I trained the Indian Squash Academy, but I also train at Black Ball in Egypt. So I have two places where I go back and forth, and they kind of help me so much. Uh, I think I it's obviously important for you to play a mix of players. Kind of get used to different opponents. You can't really. Everyone has a different game, like I said. So, yeah, that's how the prep has been. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Best of luck for the next match. Have a great day. Thank you.